Hello, and welcome to the Linux command line video series. In this video, we will cover the steps in the partitioning and formatting of a media device using the parted and the MKFS set of tools. The tool parted allows the user to manipulate a disk partition table. The tool can be run in interactive mode where the tool will be prompting the user for action or in list mode where the requested data is displayed on the screen. Let's walk through how to partition a blank drive using the Partit tool. Our objective will be to create a resulting disk that has a GPT partitioning scheme and three partitions of type NTFS, EXT4, and FAT32. Let's take a look at the drives connected to our systems using the lsblock command. So lsblock dash capital S. We see that we have one hard drive connected to the system named slash dev slash sda. Let's go ahead and use parted to create a partition on the blank drive. In this example, the hard drive is slash dev slash sda. So we're going to use sudo parted slash dev slash sda. First thing we see is that the tool gives us the version number, which is 3.3. And then it tells us what drive you're going to manipulate, which is slash dev slash SDA. Lastly, it tells you that you can type help to see the list of the commands. Let's type help to list out the commands for this tool, since this is the first time we're talking about it. The common ones we're going to cover in this video include make label, make part, and print. I recommend always doing a print of the partition table to verify that you're looking at the correct drive. So after we type P, we get the make model of the hard drive and the size of the hard drive. We also get the sector size and the partition table label if it exists. The label is basically the partitioning scheme. In this case, since it's a wiped drive, there are no partitioning schemes or partitions. You can get more detailed explanation of each command with typing help and then the name of the command. So for example, if we type help make label, it will give us a much more detailed look. So you can see that there are many different types of labels we can use. The common ones we're going to use are GPT and MS-DOS. Let's go ahead and create a GPT partitioning scheme. So let's do make label GPT. There is no feedback, so let's get our own feedback by typing P for print so we can see what we did. Here we can see that now we have a GPT partitioning table. Next, let's go ahead and create a partition. Let's take a look at the command make part by typing help make part. You can see the common file types ext4, ext3, or ext2, fat32, hfs plus, ntfs, and so forth. Let's go ahead and start with make part. We get prompted for the partition name. Let's use part one. For the file system type, let's use ntfs. For the starting sector, we will use the very first sector available by typing 1. For the end of partition, we will use 10G to denote a 10 gig size partition. When we're done, let's verify our work with the P for print command. We can confirm that we have one partition starting at location 1049 KB and ending in 10 GB for about 10 gigabytes in size. The file system type is marked for NTFS, and the partition is named part1. Let's go ahead and create a second partition. We'll name it part2. For the file system type, let's use ext4. This time, we're going to start at 10g and then end at 20g, giving us a 10 gig partition. When done, Let's verify our work with the P for print command. We can confirm that we have a second partition starting at location 10 gig and ending at 20 gig for a 10 gig partition. 
the file system type is marked for ext4, and the partition is named part2. Let's go ahead and create a third partition. We'll name it part3. For the file system type, let's use FAT32 as the file system. This time, we start at 20G and end at negative 1S for the last possible sector. This is going to warn us that we have requested for partitions that are not aligned and make suggestions for the start and end locations. I trust that the computer is better than me in math, so I will accept it. When done, let's verify our work with the P for print command. We can confirm that we have a third partition starting at location 20 gigs and ending at around 32.2 gigs for a 12.2 gig partition. The file system type is marked for FAT32, and the partition is named Part3. This looks fine with me, so I'm going to type quit to leave this program. With parted, there is no need to write the partition table out to the disk, as the changes we've made are being updated live. This is unlike FDisk, which requires a write to commit the changes. Let's verify that we have successfully completed what we set out to do. Let's run the disk type command to verify that the partition table was properly created. sudo disk type slash dev slash sda. Notice that the output will show the 32 gig drive, then a DOS MBR partition map with one partition, and then a GPT partitioning map. This is normal as the GPT scheme uses a DOS MBR for backwards compatibility. Within the GPT map, we do see three partitions. The first one, roughly 10 gigs, with no indication of the file system, and says blank disk medium. All right, once again, the reminder is that we've created the partition, but we never format it with a file system. That's why it says blank disk medium. Look at the second partition. It is also roughly 10 gigs, no indication of file system, and says blank disk medium. For third partition, it's roughly 12.2 gigs, no indication of file system, and also says blank disk medium. Now notice we also see partition 4 listed as unused. There actually isn't a fourth partition. This is just the way the GPT table works. So looking at this table, we get the clue that we have not formatted any of the file systems yet. Now let's format those partitions with file systems. We will use the NKFS set of tools. Let's use the mkfs.ntfs to format the first partition. So I'm going to type sudo makefs.ntfs dash capital Q capital L CLI underscore NTFS slash dev slash SDA1. Let's use this type to double check that the first partition was formatted properly. I'm going to do sudo disk type slash dev slash sda. As you can see, partition 1 now says ntfs file system. The mkfs.ntfs command has a lot of options, so you can look them up in the man page if you want to see what they are. Man mkfs.ntfs. Let's use the mkfs.exe4 command to format the second partition. So we're going to type sudo mkfs.ext4 dash capital L cli underscore ext4 slash dev slash sda2. Let's use the disk type command to double check that the second partition was formatted properly. sudo disk type slash dev slash sda. As you can see, partition 2 now says ext4 file system and has the disk label we gave it. The mkfs.ext4 command has a lot of options, so you can look them up in the man page if you want to see what they are. Dash capital L followed by a volume label is the most common one I use. Let's use the mkfs.vfat command to format the third partition. We're going to do sudo 
mkfs.vfat dash lowercase n cli underscore fat32 slash dev slash sda3. Let's use the this type command to double check that the third partition was formatted properly. sudo this type of slash dev slash sda. As you can see, partition 3 now says FAT32 file system and has the volume name we gave it. The mkfs.vfat command has a lot of options, so you can look up what they are in the man page if you want to see what they are. You can do man mkfs.vfat dash lowercase n followed by the volume name is the most common one I use. So far, we've only run parted in the interactive mode. If you are running a script and want to look at the partition table using parted, you can use the parted command in list mode by just adding the command print at the end of the command. So we can do sudo parted slash dev sda and then add print. This will basically print out everything as if you are in the environment, but you basically get your prompt back. So you can see we have our three partitions. The one thing we've noticed by default, it uses the kilobytes and whatnot, but you can set it to use sectors. So I'm going to go up arrow and then go back a little bit and add the words unit S for sector before the print. And so what this is going to do now is instead of listing out the start and end points in uh, estimate sizes in gigabytes, it is actually going to give you the exact sector number. And you can do the similar thing for the fdisk command that we looked at in a prior video where you can use the list mode instead of interactive mode. So we can do sudo fdisk-l for list mode and then slash dev sda. This is going to do the list mode for fdisk. And so now you see, since we use the sector as a unit in parted, the numbers are actually identical. You can see those here versus here. And you notice that the output of these two tools are slightly different from one another. So that's how you use parted and fdisk in the list mode. For parted, you add the word print at the end. And for fdisk, you use the dash lowercase l option. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video where we looked at using the parted tool to partition a device and then the MKFS set of tools to format a partition. Hope you enjoyed it. And if so, click on the thumbs up icon to like this video. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when the next video comes out. Also, please leave me messages in the comment section below so I know what you liked and didn't like, or what you may want to see in future videos. See you next time.